Archie Harrison's new pictures lay bare difference between George and Louis. Newly leaked photographs of Meghan and Prince Harry's eldest child, Archie, are not that remarkable. But nonetheless show significant differences between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Cambridges, a royal expert has said. The Duke and Duchess travelled away from their Montecito home to celebrate the American Independence Day holiday. They opted to watch a local parade in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, over the holiday weekend. Unlookers spotted the Duke and Duchess with three-year-old Archie enjoying the Independence festivities. The elder brother of one-year-old Lilibet was seen brandishing an American flag at the popular ski resort, known to be a favorite of the stars. The photos of Meghan and Prince Harry emerged on Facebook. With one image appearing to show the Duchess of Sussex kneeling down to her son's height. Meghan is pictured in black trousers and a white top, accessorized with a straw hat. Archie is decked out in blue, complemented by a red, white and blue hat. In the pictures, he can be seen tasting a lollipop as he watches the parade. Prince Harry, donning a green cap, stands near the bear. But royal expert Daniela Elsa, describing the images as unremarkable, pinpointed their very existence as important. She wrote in the New Zealand Herald, the shots in and of themselves are not that remarkable. A very cute little boy sucking a lollipop while watching a parade. Meghan casually but chickly dressed and Harry doing his usual impression of a hirsute thundercloud. But it's the fact that the shots themselves were even taken that is significant here. Ask yourself this, have you ever seen similar images crop up of William and Kate, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's children? Unlike the 4th of July photo, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis are scarcely photographed outside the confines of royal events. And the image is released by their mother, a keen photographer. Few paparazzi shots of the young Cambridge royals have reached the papers. With Kate using to release photographs from private family moments to mark her children's birthdays. Coinciding with her middle child's birthday, Kate showcased adorable photographs of Princess Charlotte, which included a snap of the family's pet dog. In the photos, the princess grins at the camera, wearing a pale blue jumper and her hair down. She sits in a field of flowers, clutching onto flowers with a wide, gap-toothed smile. A month earlier, the Duchess published shots of Prince Louis enjoying a game of cricket on a Norfolk beach close to the family's Anma Hall retreat. But the tradition was picked up by Meghan and Harry in the following months, who released a portrait-style photograph of their youngest child over the Platinum Jubilee weekend. Lilibet turned one on the third day of the extended bank holiday weekend. And the couple held a private party at Frogmore Cottage to celebrate the day. During the party, photographer and friend of the couple, Miss Anne Harriman, snapped an image of young Lilibet sitting on a patch of grass, which was made public by the Duke and Duchess shortly after. Thrilled Archie can be seen sucking on a red lollipop and clutching a miniature US flag. As doting parents Harry and Meghan chat to friends with the bodyguard standing nearby. The California-based prince and his suit's actress wife are known to fiercely guard their privacy. And our Ellie spotted in public even less so with their red-headed little boy and daughter Lilibut. But onlookers say the KJ couple appear to let their guard down in picturesque Jackson Hole. A trendy ski resort town where Kanye West, Sandra Bullock and Harrison Ford own pricey property. In fact the Sussex is made such a favorable impression that one parade goer a fellow Brit was overheard urging them to swap their itsy Californian life for the cowboy state, telling Harry, you'd fit right in here. Lilibet was not spotted at the 4th of July celebration and it's not known whether she traveled with the trio to Wyoming, where they were joined by Megan's pilot's instructor pal Heather Dorak and her children. In my mind I was thinking, what is this, is he expecting the royal family or something? I turned around a minute later and I saw Megan and little Archie. And then behind her came Harry. I'm not a huge royal follower so I googled them really quickly just to make sure that I was right. I sent a text to my daughter and she wouldn't believe me. She wanted a picture to prove it was them. It was completely out of the blue and really neat, Susan said Harry and Meghan ignored the chairs. And chose instead to sit on the sidewalk so they could play with Archie at his eye level and make sure he didn't wander off. She also saw Meghan scoop up a handful of candy treats that had been tossed into the crowd. Unwrapping a lollipop for Archie then slipping an ice cream sandwich into her bag for later. The youngster wore a collarless striped shirt, 
pale blue pants and a red, black and white baseball cap emblazoned with California's bear flag. A nod to the family's home in the upscale celeb enclave of Montecito, where the Sussexes typically travel around in black tout subs surrounded by security. Megan paired skinny jeans and a white tank top with a brown fedora hat, while Harry wore a blue-gray polo shirt, shorts and an olive baseball cap. Dorak, who spoke out in the Duchess's defense in the wake of her tell-all Oprah Winfrey interview, wore a camel jumpsuit. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.